Brian Fritz here with Cesaro as he gets set to be on WWE WrestleMania, part of the pre-show, challenging yep. for the tag titles, the Real Americans, you and Jack Swagger, in the Fatal 4-Way match. So uh, how excited are you about uh, WrestleMania this year? Oh, I'm very excited. You know, it's a big anniversary for WrestleMania. It's in a great town, New Orleans, and, uh, you know, this is my first WrestleMania. So what do you do in New Orleans to enjoy yourself uh, leading up to the big event? Uh, doing interviews with you. How about that? <laughs> well, have you enjoyed the city yet? <laughs> yeah, I've enjoyed the city. I went out and walked around the French Quarter a little bit yesterday, and I had some great food, which New Orleans is uh, famous for. So I'm having a great time. Do you have to watch yourself with some of the restaurants? Because the food is very good, but obviously you're in peak shape. Uh, yeah, you know, but uh, the fun part is, like, I actually like the healthy food. I don't like so much the not healthy food. So that's good for me. I had, so I had some bison burger. I had some alligator, you know, so it's good, good food. When did uh, fitness become a big part of your life? Uh, fitness became a big part of my life, actually very early on because I used to play sports all my life. And, uh, you know, I started going to fitness uh, studio when I was like 17 years old, which is maybe a little late for some, but, uh, you know, I played sports every single day of my life, so. And what kind of sports did you play? A lot of soccer? Yeah, I know I played soccer, I played basketball, I played rugby, uh, you know, like any, we had like uh, any, any sport I could play, I, w I was playing, you know, and uh, tennis as well. As a you know, Swiss man, Roger Federer, you have to you have to represent. I was gonna say playing tennis in Switzerland. If you're any good, I'm sure they're like you got to go for it, man. We need we need another guy. Well, yeah, I, I wasn't that good though, uh -huh. <laughs> unfortunately. But you just uh, like playing. Yeah, well, yeah, I, I I just like playing. I I still play a little bit when I when I get the chance. So was there any other sport that you excelled at? You thought maybe I could I could do something with this for a career? Yeah, I was uh, I was pretty good at basketball, um, you know. But once I started started wrestling I was uh, okay this is it what position did you play in basketball uh, I could play power forward nice that was, that was my muscle position. and guys yeah, around muscle and guys around yep your rebound expert uh, very good at rebounding very good at the at the low post I was gonna say I was the post moves you're watching some Kevin McHale or something oh yeah yeah and and, and, and as European and of course I have a very good hook shot as well <laughs> <laughs> you better. Yeah. yeah. So what's it like, you know, being in Switzerland and becoming a wrestling fan? How, how big was wrestling in Switzerland and how big is it now? Uh, it's not very big now, uh, mainly because it hasn't been on TV for five, six years, for quite a while. Um, it was very big in the, in, the, in the early 90s when I was like 12, 13 years old. It just came on TV. It had this big buzz coming from the United States, you know, with Hulk Hogan, Bret Hart. And, uh, you know, that, that's when I became a fan. Getting back to fitness, I've seen some of the crazy workouts that you've done online, like mm -hmm. the one arm lifts over your yep. head and everything. Where did that workout routine come from? Uh, you know, I just I just try to switch up my workout routine as much as possible because I get bored and I think, you know, like that's the, the, the key to staying fit is you just change it up, you try new things. And uh, you know, the one arm lift just came from like, they were like, okay, let's do something. And I'm like, all right, here's something impressive. <laughs> and it's just, um, they're just fun, you know, and that's the, uh, that's just a different way to train because there's actually no quite set training for what we do in the ring, you know. So I just try to challenge myself as much as I can. I was going to say, do you shake it up too when it comes to heavy weights or maybe just doing a lot of reps? I mean, how do you oh, do that? Definitely, you know, I change from, you know, going heavy weights and heavy reps and then lots of body weight exercises as well, you know, just because I think if you just do one thing over and over, your body gets used to it. So you need to change it up. And especially with with wrestling, you know, you need strength, you need endurance, uh, you need to look the part. So it's like you train training for everything. Now, is there been other guys that said I want to train with you? How, how's that gone? Have they been able to keep up with you? Uh, you know, yeah, there's a there's a few guys that train similar to what I do. You know, like I think it's uh, if, if you look at WWE superstars, none of us are the same. None of us look the same. So everybody trains a little bit different. But who, wh whatever works for them, whatever works for their body, and uh, but there's a few guys who you know work out similar than I do. So tell me about uh, some people are calling this kind of this youth movement when it yeah. comes to WWE. I don't know if I call it necessarily a youth movement. I'd call it just kind of uh, a new generation of stars yes. kind of making their mold in it. What's it like for you to be a part of that right now and seeing some of the other guys that, that you've even worked with before even coming to WWE be a part of that as well? I think it's it's very, very refreshing to see that and it's very good to see as well. And, um, you know, of course, it, it's a bunch of my friends or people that I've known for quite a while being in that movement. And it's, it is a fun crew and it's a very exciting time. And I think the crowd can can feel it and it's just like this buzz in the air and uh, you know it's it's good you have a history with Daniel Bryan even before coming to WWE so what's it like for you to see him now in this position where 
you know, he could leave WrestleMania as being the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Yeah, it is. It is, it is pretty crazy, you know. When uh, we landed in New Orleans, uh, you know, I was like grabbing my bags and I walk outside and there's this big Daniel Bryan post. And even if you look around here, there's like you know, like triple life size Daniel Bryan banners around and everything. And it's he worked very hard for it, and it is, you know, it's 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 good to see. What do you make of that beard he's got going though? It's it's quite the beard, isn't it? It it's, is. It is. It is quite the beard. Can you grow a beard like that? Uh, I probably could, but uh, I think I look pretty good like I do now. You're more groomed man. Look at this, a nice yeah, suit know, like and everything. It's, it's, look it, at this. Uh, yeah, everybody has their style. This is mine. So talk about the swing a little bit because that has really been the big thing and people are talking about with you when it comes to the move in the ring. Um, where did the evolution of the swing come from and incorporating it in your matches now? Uh, you know, I've been doing the swing before I came to WWE as well, and then I just kind of busted it out and the whole crowd stood up. So it was like, all right, that's something I'll, I'll keep. It's just, uh, it, it, it is an old school move. It just hasn't been done as good as when I do it. Right. And uh, I think that's what resonates with people is that, you know, it's, it's something that you see in, in movies and comic books. So is there anybody that's too big here that you can't do it to? Um, you know, there's, there's, I would say a few guys, you know, like a big show, Mark Henry, are probably too big. Just would you like to try though? Basically. Um, you see, I don't like to put myself at disadvantage when I'm in the ring. So, um, I know I can hit him with other moves. So why try something that may or may not work? So what's this been like lately? Because obviously work with Jack Swagger and Zeb Coulter, you've been booed for a while. Now people are like, Hey, we kind of like this guy. Yeah, it's you know I think people just see see talent and they see um, you know the hard work and they appreciate that and like you said earlier with the with the youth movement I think the you know some of the fans are ready for something new and uh, here I am. Going back at the beginning of the year, there's there's always a lot of talk, a lot of scuttlebutt about you know what's going to happen come WrestleMania and some people thought maybe you wouldn't be teaming with Jack Swagger anymore. Are you surprised that you guys are still a team? Well, uh, you know, me and Jack have differences. You know, we're both very, very competitive. Uh, but, you know, Zeb is doing a great job managing this team, so to speak. Uh, well, so to speak, exactly, yeah. as I say. And, uh, you know, maybe some people are surprised. And maybe some people will, will be surprised when we walk out as the Tag Team Champions on uh, Sunday. So Zeb has been in this business for about four decades. Yeah. Um, give me a great story that he's impaired on you from you know, even from his past or anything that he shares when it comes to any kind of road stories or kind of fun stories he has? Oh, there, there's, there's too many. Um, you know, it's just, uh, he taught me so much about wrestling and, uh, you know, he helped me with what I can do better and, um, you know, what, where I can improve and how I can improve. And, and if you look at his history, like the people he helped, you know, from like mm -hmm. Steve Austin to JBL to Kane, it's just like he, he has a hand in influencing so many people, and I'm just happy that I was I was part of that. Are you a guy that watches a lot of tape? That goes back and watches a lot of different things from the past? Oh yeah, I'm I'm I'm, I'm a big fan of, of tape and the WWE Network for that matter because now it's now it's all on my on my cell phone if I want it. I was going to say, how easy is that to access? Now you just look it up. Oh, it, it's so easy. I, I I remember having you know like trade videotapes and, and tape them over and have grainy quality and now it's in HD on my phone whenever I want it. How crazy is that? And it's, uh, it's a lot of fun for, uh, for an old wrestling fan like me. <laughs> Last thing, so you're on the pre-show this year challenging for the tag titles. Where do you expect to be on WrestleMania 31 next year? Well, um, I'm focusing right now on that, on that pre-show match for tag titles. That is a PC uh, answer. That's a PC <laughs> answer, right? But um, let's say definitely, you know, like main show maybe for the, for the world title next year. That, that, that has to be your goal. If, if you're here, and if you're serious about it, that has to be your goal. Thanks for the time, man. Congratulations on Thank success so much. far. Cesaro getting ready for WrestleMania 30.